video segment that I'm making for uh, 3D Sweep. Uh, the first one was actually a, a box or a, a rod uh, which has uh, which has a rectangular cross section and it was padded all the way. It was very simple. So uh, this time I'm going to take a geometry which is a little bit uh, a bit more complicated. Uh, so uh, let me make a think about a truncated pyramid type thing. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, uh, make a part. Okay, the cross section of the part is uh, a rectangle, which as you go along the along it, uh, it progressively gets smaller. Okay, so uh, let's do this. This is still a simple geometry, also. So let me select, for example, uh, this face, and I will draw on it a rectangle. Okay, something like that. Exit. And if I pad this thing, obviously it's going to go straight up. It's going to be the same problem that we did before. So let me not pad it. Instead, do it with a drafted filleted pad. So click on it. All right. So uh, let's make it, uh, I don't know, maybe uh, six, seven inches. Okay. Is that high. The angle, let's make it uh, 15 degrees. Okay, and for the second limit, notice that we can't close this thing. The second limit is basically, it says, from where is this going to go up? So that's the XY plane. Okay, let's make this thing uh, 30 degrees. Preview. Ooh, okay, right there. Actually, 15 would have been good, so let's make it uh, 15 and... Uh, Preview looks like this. Very good. Oh, I don't want any fillets there, so this is drafted, as you can see. It's a pad, it's drafted, and it's filleted. So I don't want any fillets, so let me uncheck these things. And there we are. Well, this is a more a fancier version of, uh, of that bar, basically. All right. Now, uh, uh, what do you want? Okay, we want to extract that face because I want to create a, a shell uh, a shell uh, elements, shell elements on those. So uh, let's see now we go to uh, uh, generative structure analysis, advanced machine tool, get, get the extract right there, the extract. Extract that and we say okay. And uh, let me see now. Uh, we're going to have to, well, let's apply some material on this. Metal, aluminum on that entire part. All right. Now we're going to go to generative structural analysis. You see, if I want a nice fancy mesh on this face, on this face, then I have to go to advanced meshing tool, really. But if I want a regular, you know, triangular mesh here, which is going to get swept down, down, down the street, then it really doesn't matter. So this time, actually, let me go ahead and make a uh, oops, uh, make a, uh, a simple uh, three node triangular mesh. Okay, oh, just be careful here. Notice that if you go to a generative structure analysis, immediately Katia sees a 3D object here and it meshes it. And this mesh is of no consequence to me, so I go there, I delete this. And I delete the property of it. If I had not done that, if I had gone to the generative uh, uh, advanced meshing tool, if I had gone to advanced meshing, meshing, meshing tool, this thing would not have been created. I don't have to go through these two steps. But that's okay. Let's do it the way it is. That's, that's fine. Okay. So we want to do a very ugly three node triangle mesh on that face. And then we're going to sweep it later on, of course. There we are. Okay, you can look at it if you want. Right-click mesh visualization, right there. Deactivate it. Okay. Now to sweep this, you have to go to the advanced machine tools, right there. And uh, the sweep is under this toolbar, right under toolbar. 
which is talking about solid meshing. Click on it. Don't forget to read the bottom left corner of the screen. It says, select the volume to, to mesh there. And then the, the bottom face, where actually your, your shell mesh lies, your top face, which is this. Now, let's try, let's try uh, meshing this. Okay, right there. Okay, right there. Okay, so you just swept this, as you can see. Let me cancel that though. Cancel that because I want to show a few things that you can do. Uh, do it again, sweep. This time, uh, select, the, select the box, of course, or that object. The top face, this is the top face. This is the bottom face, this is the top face. Notice that here, you can select the guides. For example, uh, if, if, I, if I say compute here, it uses four guides, these four guides. Okay, remove. I can select, there may be problems that it's, it may be more appropriate for you to select your own guide. So for example, if I select my own guide, I wanna select this, uh, this line, let me hide, the, hide the, the, the gray object and select this. So only one guide is selected and then apply. It gave you the same thing, but there may be some differences in a certain pro in certain problems. For example, uh, well, anyway, this this is done, right? So let's go ahead and do the following. Let me delete. Uh, let me uh, let me delete the sweep and delete this. There's no mesh, of course. All right. Okay, so. Uh, we're going to go to the advanced meshing tool. We are already there. This time we do a nice fancy mesh there. Uh, where, why can I not see my part? So that's because it's hidden right now. The pad is hidden. The draft pad is hidden. Right there. Okay, there's the surface. So let's do a fancy, a fancy uh, uh, four-noded uh, shell element here. Okay. Uh, I don't know how this is going to turn out. So I'll make it 0.5. Mesh it, it looks like that. Fine. Okay. Close it. And exit. Okay, so now, now we sweep it. The object you select, the bottom face is this. The top face is that. Let's say compute, apply. There we are. Nice, you know, nice mesh. Now, let me do the following though. Remove. This time, I impose my own guide. Impose guide. I want to select this edge or that edge or that edge. It doesn't matter. Let me hide this thing. Select one of these. Okay. Compute. See, it uses all four guides now. I, I selected that, but it did its own. So try again. Uh, impose this. Uh, this is the edge. I think that's already there. Compute. See, all the four guides are selected. But there may be situations where you don't want to select all four of them. Here, it really doesn't matter but uh, uh, this, this is fine, okay? So let me do another geometry for you. Let me do a, another geometry. Let me close this. And close that. Okay, uh, let's start with the part file. 